welcome back to my channel. So today we're playing with some new makeup, some colorful makeup, very tropical vibes today. But if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. But you guys, we're playing with some ColourPop Cabana Club eyeshadows. We have a blush stick and lip crayon from that collection as well. We have the reformulated Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation over highlighter, the Glowish by Huda Beauty bronzer, the Bright Fix Eye Brightener from Fenty Beauty, which concealer eye brightener, we tried it out. And then also the Nude Sticks Brow Boost, also tried that out today. So if you wanna see how those products worked and how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, I've got you zoomed in. We've primed the eyes, and today we're playing with the ColourPop Cabana Club. This eyeshadow palette, like this packaging is so cute, but then the color story, look at this, you guys. It's so bright, and there's some beautiful matte shades. These shimmers, like, yes, please. Um, now, what do I wanna do? I was thinking I kinda of wanna play around with this blue, this teal, I've done a lot of teal eye looks though lately. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I've done teal. I really haven't done like blue with pops of green. And I think I wanna use the like mauvey pink on the outside to just kind of blend it out a little bit. So I am gonna start with this first shade pool party. I'm gonna put that in the crease and kind of in the outer V just to build or to start. So, and I'm just on a Sigma E25. Look at, that's two dips, you guys. Like, ever so slightly dipped in there. But I'm gonna place it in there and then we will blend it out. Uh, all right. I don't know if you guys can hear what's going on on the road outside of my house. It's not my street, it's the next street over. It literally sounds like they're drag racing. <laughs> so far it has been like a sports car revving it revving its engine like running down the street then there was just a motorcycle and another one that followed behind it so like i don't know what's going on i am not in an area where they do like car shows or drag racing it is literally a neighborhood so i don't know what people are doing right now i mean the good thing is this matches my shirt <laughs> really pretty. I don't want to like blow it out too much because I do want to put that pink up here. Um, I do want to put that in the outer V. And I'm thinking maybe the purple underneath. We'll see. I mean, <laughs> Um, I did my errands earlier. Um, I went and got my eyebrows done because they needed to be. But when I finally, like, once I got done with that, I had to go run some errands, pick up some food for Sochu because if she does not get her wet food in the morning, I will hear about it. And then I came home and I decided I wanted to play with some makeup. It's very bright, very, very bright. Okay, let me grab another. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the shade Bikini, which is that mauvey pink, just on my Laura Lee All 18. Oh, it is kind of powdery, but whatever. 
So I'm gonna place that on just the outer edge. I feel like it's blending with that blue. <laughs> It's dulling that blue a little bit. And then no product on this one. I think that is better. All right, no extra product on the Sigma E25. I'm just gonna go into the crease. because I know there's still plenty of product on the brush. There. Okay, now I will swatch the shimmers real quick. So this first one is Cool Off. Ooh, that is so pretty. This one is Limelight. Copa Cutie. Ooh, I like that corally shade. And then High Season. So those are stunning. I really want to use cool off today and then probably high season these two together. But let's watch them. Those are really pretty. Very like summer vibes. I'm excited to play with those. But let's go ahead and go into cool off. I'm gonna do that on my middle finger. I think I've abandoned the whole idea of trying to apply them with a dry brush. Like, fingers work just fine. Um, I'm gonna place that in the center here. Ooh, see, and where it's actually had the blue, it's changed it a little bit for more of a green to more of like a cerulean blue, which is really pretty. So now you can kind of see what it looks like without an eyeshadow underneath it and then like what it looks like overlaid on an eyeshadow. And that's just tapping it on. Now into high season on my ring finger and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner and blend that into So you kind of get that really pretty like gold transition into the teal, into that blue, which is really pretty. And then on the brush that I used for bikini, no product, I just wiped it off. I'm gonna go and just kind of like fine tune the crease a little bit. and the Sigma E25 that I used for the blue. Just no extra product, because I had a lot on here. Uh, it's so pretty. It's giving me just kind of like, I don't know, mermaidy vibes, maybe? Okay. I'm gonna go do this eye. I do have a new foundation and I'll be back to try it out with you guys. Okay, for foundation, I have the, it's not new, I think they reformulated. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay. This is a 16 hour full coverage foundation. I got it in shade medium neutral, which I usually go for lighter foundations, but when I was doing the color match, this actually said that it was the right shade. <laughs> So, I mean, it looks like it might be, um, cause I, I usually pick neutral shades. So this is poreless technology, full coverage and soft matte finish, dermatologist tested and non comedogenic. <laughs> um, I'm all for a foundation that makes these pores look minimal. I did use a primer that I know works that I like. So, I, I mean, we've made that mistake before. We already know that. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit on the face. I 
I do like a good like squeezy tube foundation. Hopefully that's enough. I don't, this should be okay, I guess. We'll see. Where'd my, literally grabbed it so I was already ready. And I would rather have too little than not enough and go back in later. It looks like it's the right color, which yay, go me trying to find foundation shades on Sephora. If you haven't done like the shade finder or like if there's a foundation that you know you have the right shade in, the shade finder and the Sephora app a lot of times is close. Um, you can also go in, I think now they're doing it. Um, they've relaxed a little bit on the cert on certain things that they've been doing in the stores. Like I went to Ulta today and they actually had the testers out again and I'm still kind of like, eh. But I mean, some things are relaxing in certain areas, um, certain stores but I think they're still, they were still doing the shade finder where they match like the different tone of your neck to your face to find the right like color contrast for your profile for Sephora. Um, but I th think there's a video way back when that I actually did a screenshot trying to find my right shade in the Sephora app. I can't remember which one it was in. Um, but like, I thought about doing a, like how to navigate some of the like different things in the Sephora app. Is that a video you guys want to see? If it is, comment it down below that you want to see like a tutorial on how to get through the Sephora app, maybe. Um, Cause I can do the screenshots and how to do all of that stuff. Um, I know I've used, I've done it once or twice in a couple of videos, but it's been a minute. Okay. So I only put a little bit on to start out with. And for the most part, like, especially right here, I have more coverage cause that's where I focused it. And then I just like slowly made my way up, which is, I mean, I'm going to put concealer there anyways, but like, I have more of my like sunspots. <laughs> Yay, growing up in Florida without a lot of sunscreen. Live and learn when you're young, right? So I think I'm gonna go in a little bit more. Let's see. I mean, it's not too bad on my chin. I do think like my cheek. And then a little bit on my forehead. I don't want too much on my forehead because, but, and I'm gonna go in with concealer, so. The original formula for the Tarte Amazonian Clay, I had tried that and it was so thick. Um, but that was also way before I was getting into like full coverage foundations. I was using the Mac Studio Fix for the longest time and I really liked it, but I wanted to like, I was trying things out. This was way before I got into my YouTube channel. Um, and I just, I never ended up using it again. Like I think I got a sample of it from Sephora, but I just, I wasn't feeling it cause it was so, thick. Actually, it might have broken me out because like when I was younger, definitely in my teens, I had some awesome acne growing up. All right. So far, I really like it. It did it does look like it kind of smoothed it out, but I mean, I'll see more once I put like powder on. But so far it looks 
I didn't go full coverage. I'm not trying to today. Um, it seemed to build nicely. I have some acne right here, but that's also cause like monthly things. Anyways, for concealer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. This is in the shade, shade Seashell 03. Um, this one I just picked up as well. Instantly hydrates, brightens and blurs, light as air, shared a buildable coverage that lasts. So I like that and you know, I tried out the last um, Fenty concealer and I, I liked it, um, but it could get really creasy. So I'm gonna just put like a dab. Let's, let's start. 